In this problem, we're told vector A has a magnitude of 12 meters and vector B has a magnitude of 16 meters. The scalar product A times B is 90 meters squared. What is the magnitude of the vector product between these two vectors? So in this problem, what we're trying to find is the magnitude of the vector product. And the way we do that is by using this formula here. So the magnitude C is, this isn't a vector, C is equal to A, right? So vector A times vector B multiplied by the sine of theta. So we know what vector A is. We know what vector b is, and we need to find um, theta, right? If we can find the angle theta, what we're going to be able to do is solve it, right? Because we'll have everything we need. So the way we find theta is by using this formula right here. So the dot product between a and b is equal to a, b times the cosine of theta, right? We know this. It's the 90 meters squared. We know a, and we know b. So if we want to solve for theta, we just have to uh, solve this, right? So plugging in our numbers, um, the dot product between a and b is 90 is equal to a, which is 12, times b, which is 16, times the cosine of theta. We want to solve for the uh, theta, so we can plug it in the other equation. We can divide by 12 times 16. And then we're going to take the arc cosine of both sides to get rid of that. And you'll get theta equals the arc cosine of 90 over 12 times 16. And so when you go ahead and do this, right, when you plug in your calculator, you're going to get it theta is equal to 62.0468 and so on. Uh, I'm just going to use the calculator value when I plug it into this though, so just keep that in mind. And so to solve for C, it's going to be equal to A, vector A, which is 12, times B, which is 16, and then multiply it by the sine of our angle that we just solved for, right? This. So it's like 62.0468. I'm using the calculator value, or the, the exact value. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to find C is equal to 169.5995 and so on. I'm just going to round it to 169.60. And so keep in mind, this is going to be the magnitude. And so it's just going to be in meters. So 169.60 meters, this is going to be uh, your answer to this problem. So hopefully you found this useful.